Hi everyone, this is the second uh, video for this particular lesson, Solving Equations that Contain Rational Expressions. So to begin with, we need to uh, factor the denominator of the first expression. And you guys, a lot of times it's a it's, it gives you a clue when your other two denominators are 3, are three x plus 2, in this case an x minus 1, that's actually how this one factors. Of course, you may not recognize that, but you can always try it. You know, see, if I multiply 3x plus 2 times x minus 1, do I get 3x squared minus x minus 2? And then don't forget about excluded values, right? x is not equal to, in this case, it would be negative 2 thirds or 1. So those two numbers, those two possible solutions cannot be solutions in this case. And then our common denominator, our LCD, is going to be those two factors, 3x plus 2 times x minus 1. All right, so now I'm going to rewrite this so we can multiply. So remember on these, it's organizational um, things will help you make it through the process. <laughs> so you want to do something that helps you see what you're doing and try to keep it in some type of order that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to multiply by the 3x plus 2 times x minus 1. And I really like this, um, writing it out and marking out the part that is in my denominator and then multiplying what's left by my numerator. All right, so here we go. We're going to take out the 3x plus 2 and the x minus 1. And remember that just equals 1. And we multiply, or we don't multiply, well, we multiply by 1. You don't really have to multiply by 1. So 4x squared minus 24x is the, the numerator of the first expression. And then we eliminate the 3x plus 2. And I'm going to go ahead and just write this out. And then on the other side of the equal sign, I'm going to have negative uh, 4 times 3x plus 2. Okay, so I hope I don't run out of space here. We're going to have 4x squared minus 24x plus 3x minus 3 equals negative 12x minus 8. Okay, so here's what I'm doing now. I'm going to combine like terms plus and plus get everything on one side of the equal sign. And so I don't have any other x squared terms, so that's 4x squared. Now, on the left-hand side, I have negative 21x, and then I'm going to add um, the 12x to that. And so whenever I have negative 21 plus 12, that's going to be a negative 9x. And then I have negative 3 plus 8. You have to be very careful here because there's a lot going on. So that's plus 5. And then I will factor the 4x squared minus 9x plus 5. Now this is where you may want to go use uh, the AC method. So let's go up here. I think I'll change back to pink. So I'm going to have factors of 20. Let me write this out. Factors of 20 with a sum of negative 9. So those two factors are the ones that I'm going to substitute in so that I can find, um, so that I can group and factor. And so if you're grouping, this is how you're going to set that up. So when you think through factors of 20, um, both of the factors will have to be negative. And in this case, uh, to get a negative 9 when I add and a 20 when I multiply. So for this one, it will be negative 5 and negative 4. So I'll have 4x squared, and let's say minus 5x minus 4x plus 5. Remember, I'm replacing my middle term with these two. And then I'll group and factor. 
So the first term, I'm going to take out an x. That leaves me 4x minus 5 and a negative 1 on the second two, the second pair. So that's 4x minus 5. And then I write this in factored form. And then set it each factor equal to 0. All right. So my possible solutions will be 5 fourths and positive 1. Well, if you look back at where we started, right, and, and when we were um, looking at our excluded values, you see that 1 is an excluded value. And so my only solution in this case will be 5 fourths because I have to leave out the 1, right? So the 1 is an excluded value. So this one only has one solution in this case. All right. So that was kind of long and messy. You can see where you might just get lost in this whole process if you don't be careful with your organization. All right, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. Sometimes some glitchy things happen with my um, my app that I'm using here. Okay, so on this first um, expression, we have to factor out the common factor, which is 3x. And so then that leaves me x plus 4. And that will be my LCD because my other denominator is x plus 4. And then um, x cannot equal, in this case, 0 right because 3x equals 0 and if I solved I would get a 0 and it also cannot equal negative 4 so 3x times x plus 4 now you don't necessarily have to write this out this way at the beginning of your problem but I think it's a real good idea if you do so I'm going to rewrite this I'm going to scoot this up a little bit so I don't use up quite as much space Remember, we're going to space this out a little bit. So I'm going to put a negative 1 up there. Remember, I can do that because I'm adding the opposite. OK, so then I'm going to go across and say I'm multiplying by 3x times x plus 4 times 3x times x plus 4. And I multiply every term times the common denominator. <clears throat> okay, so on the first expression, my entire denominator is eliminated and I'm left with a 12. And then here it's 1 times 3x times x plus 4. So remember that we go back to 3x squared plus 12x. That's how that factored initially and we're just multiplying it by 1. And then on the next one, I'm going to, going to eliminate the x plus 4 because that takes care of my denominator. So I have negative 1 times 3x, which is negative 3x. Okay, so in this case, I want to um, get everything on one side equal to 0. Well, it makes sense in, in for this equation that I would do that by... Uh, subtracting the 12 and setting the left hand side equal to 0 and of course I'm going to combine 12x uh, minus 3x so that's 3x squared plus 9x minus 12 and then we have a common factor so we can take out the common factor which makes factoring the trinomial easier x squared plus 3x minus 4. Remember, I'm dividing all of my terms uh, by 3. So that's the process that I just showed you. And now I can factor the x squared plus 3x minus 4. And that's just factors of negative 4 that have a sum of 3. So x plus 4 times x minus 1. <clears throat> excuse me and then I can set those two factors equal to 0 so x plus 4 equals 0 
or x minus 1 equals 0. The 3, we don't really have to do anything with that because it won't give us another um, solution or anything. So we can just look at it this way. And then when we solve for x, um, we're going to subtract 4. Oh, let me just put a comma here. And so it's negative 4 or 1. And if you look back at the excluded values, you see negative 4 is not, um, cannot be a solution. So x equals 1 in this case because 4 is an excluded, or negative 4 is an excluded value. So we just get one solution on that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and solve this before I stop the video because I think we have time for that. Um, for this one, x cannot equal 0, right? That's the only number that would make a denominator 0. And my LCD then will be 4x. So I'm going to multiply each term times the common denominator of 4x. So this one's times 4x times 4x and times 4x. All right, so 4 goes into this and it leaves me with an x, so I have x squared. I eliminate the x on the next one, so then I have 5 times 4 equal to 12x. All right, so then we're going to subtract the 12x and write this in descending order so we can factor. So we're looking for factors of 20 that have a sum of negative 12. All right, so that's going to be um, negative 2 times negative 10. All right, so x squared minus 2x minus 10x, whoops, I left out my x, plus 20. All right, and that's equal to zero then. Uh, we group and factor. So x times x minus 2, that's negative 10 times x minus 2. All right, so my factors are, let's just take it over here, x minus 2 times x minus 10 equals 0. So x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 10 equals 0. My two solutions then are 2 and 10. And both of those are acceptable because neither of them are the excluded value um, that would cause our denominator to be a 0. All right, so I'm going to stop this video. And earlier I had to pause for a moment because of a, an, in, an interruption. So if you notice something weird that I said, that would be why. I don't know if I did or not. All right, next video I have about two more examples.